Hi, this is Dinesh from Pristine. In this video, we will have a look at skewness kurtosis plot. A skewness kurtosis plot shows the various skewness kurtosis combination that can be taken by different distributions. And the most skewness kurtosis combination a distribution can take, more flexible it is to fit different type of data set. Now to understand the graph, let's see what is on x-axis and what is on y-axis. On the x-axis, we have square of skewness. This is because skewness can also be negative. And on the y-axis, we have kurtosis increasing this way. Now for any distribution, kurtosis has to be greater than or equal to square of skewness plus 1. No distribution can violate this criteria. Therefore, this is the impossible region. So, we can see that 2 plus 1, 3. So, no distribution can lie below this point. Now distribution, different distribution can assume different skewness kurtosis combination. Either it can be a constant, that is a particular distribution can have a constant skewness or kurtosis. Example would be normal, which has a skewness of 0 and kurtosis of 3. So we can see normal distribution has a constant skewness kurtosis combination of 0, 3 and exponential. Exponential distribution has skewness of 2, therefore a squared skewness of 4 and kurtosis of 9. So on the chart, we'll see that at 4, 9 exponential distribution lies. Now these distribution are the least flexible in fitting different type of data set. They can fit only the, those type of data set which have skewness kurtosis combination equal to theirs. Skewness kurtosis of a distribution can also be a curve. It will be a curve if the equation for finding skewness or kurtosis is dependent on a single distribution parameter. We have already seen that each distribution, each continuous distribution can have three type of parameter, location, shape or scale. So if the equation for finding skewness or kurtosis is dependent on any of these parameters but only one of these then the skewness kurtosis combination of that distribution will lie on a curve. Example in this case would be Weibull and Gamma. For both Weibull and Gamma skewness kurtosis depend only on one distribution parameter which is the shape parameter and log normal distribution. For log normal distribution, skewness kurtosis depend only on log standard deviation. So if we look in the chart, we can see that variable distribution, gamma distribution and log normal distribution are curves. In this graph, they might appear to be straight line. This is because of the scale of the chart, but if the scale of the chart is extended, we can see that instead of lines, these are actually curves. We can also see that for both gamma and Weibull distribution, exponential is a special case because both gamma and Weibull can assume the same skewness kurtosis combination as the exponential distribution. Similarly, both gamma and Weibull can be as symmetric as normal distribution. This will happen when their shape parameter is 
increased above 1. And the higher the shape parameter, more symmetric the two distribution will be. Another noteworthy point is that log normal distribution lies higher than gamma and Weibull distribution. Therefore, for the same skewness, we can see that log normal kurtosis will be higher than gamma or Weibull kurtosis. For any level of skewness, log normal kurtosis will be higher than gamma or Weibull kurtosis. Therefore, we can conclude that log normal distribution will be a fatter tail distribution as compared to gamma and Weibull. In fact, log normal is the boundary con distribution between thick tail distribution and thin tail distribution. Distribution which lie below the log normal curve are thin tail distribution and which lie above it are considered to be thicker tail distribution. Skewness kurtosis combination can also lie on a surface that is instead of being a constant or lying on a curve they might also lie on a surface. This will be the case if the equation of skewness or kurtosis depend on two distribution parameters. These will be the most flexible distribution which can assume a wide variety of shapes. Distribution under this category are GB2, generalized beta distribution of type 2 and G and H distribution. Now G and H distribution has two parameter. The parameter G controls the skewness and parameter H controls the kurtosis and we can see that the yellow region is the complete region which can be taken by G and H distribution. So it can in practice assume any skewness kurtosis that can be assumed by any other distribution. Now GPT distribution can be a thick tail distribution or a thin tail distribution depending on the distribution parameter. If the distribution, if the shape parameter of GPD is less than equal to 1, then GPD will be a thin tail distribution. As shape parameter increases, GPD becomes more and more thick tail distribution. So in this chart, the region of GPD that we are looking at is the region in which GPD is a thinner tail distribution as compared to gamma or Weibull. But in practice where GPD is fitted to operational risk data set, it would be those cases where we are using the thick tail behavior of GPD. How do we generate skewness kurtosis plot in practice? We can easily do it using open source software R. When we come to R, we'll see how by using a simple function, we can plot the skewness kurtosis. Now, for a particular data set, R will show us what is the skewness kurtosis of R data set. And then we can compare skewness kurtosis of our data set with skewness kurtosis that can be assumed by various other distribution. One difference between this graph and the graph that we had seen earlier is that kurtosis increases in this direction. On the x-axis we still have square of skewness but on the y-axis kurtosis increases downwards rather than upward as we had seen in the earlier chart. Now this is the curve for gamma distribution. This is the curve for log normal distribution. We can see that exponential distribution and normal distribution are constants and so are logistic distribution and uniform distribution. Weibull distribution lies between log normal and gamma. So for instance, if for this data set, 
we fit log normal distribution instead of gamma distribution. Log normal distribution will have a fatter tail as compared to gamma distribution because to match the skewness of the data which is this log normal kurtosis is close to 10 and gamma kurtosis will be close to 8 and higher kurtosis would mean fatter tail so for the same skewness log normal kurtosis will be higher than that of Fable and gamma distribution Now let us see on what basis can we say whether a particular distribution has a thin has a thin tail or a thick tail. One definition could be on the basis of moments. By moments we mean mean standard deviation skewness and kurtosis. If all the positive moments of a, dis of a distribution can be estimated, then distribution is light-tailed. For instance, for gamma, normal, exponential, log normal, all the moments exist and they can be calculated. So these distributions are usually classified as thin-tailed distribution. However, in case few moments of the distribution cannot be calculated because they are not finite then distribution will be a thick tail distribution for instance GPD if K is the GPD shape parameter then only 1 by K moments can be calculated in case of GPD therefore if the shape parameter is less than 0 0.25 then 1 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 4 so we can calculate all the four moments which are mean standard deviation skewness and kurtosis but if the shape parameter is between 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 then 1 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 2 that means only mean and variance is finite and skewness and kurtosis are infinite so in this case we can say that GPD will be a fatter tail distribution as compared to when the shape parameter is less than 0 0.25 if the shape parameter is from 0 0.5 to 1 then only mean can be estimated and variance skewness kurtosis will be infinite so as compared to this case GPD will be fatter in this and if the shape parameter is greater than equal to 1 then even mean is infinite so these cases signify very very heavy tail in case of GPD we can see that as shape parameter increases, GPD becomes more and more thick-tailed. Another definition of tail heaviness is in relation to exponential distribution. Distribution that decay, so if this is the decay rate of ex exponential distribution, distribution that decay at a lesser rate as compared to exponential distribution, are called sub exponential distribution and will of course be heavy tailed because we can see that they stretch more in the extreme region so on the basis of these definition this is the rank ordering of various distribution in terms of their increasing tail heaviness variable distribution with shape parameter greater than 1 is a thin tail distribution it is even thinner than the exponential distribution then is the gamma distribution then Weibull distribution with shape less than 1 so we can see that Weibull distribution 
बिकम फैट टेल्ड वन शेप पैरामीटर रिड्यूसेस हाउ एवर जी पी डी बिकम्स फैट टेल्ड वन शेप पैरामीटर इंक्रीजेस फॉलोड बाई लॉग नॉर्मल विच वी हैव सीन इज द बाउंड्री बिटवीन थिन टेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड थिक टेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ऑन द अदर एंड ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम वी हैव पेरिटो जी पी डी बर्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैड ए लुक एट स्क्यूनेस कर्टोसिस प्लॉट वी अंडरस्टूड दैट डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन एज्यूम डिफरेंट स्क्यूनेस कर्टोसिस कॉम्बिनेशन विच माइट बी ए कॉन्स्टेंट विच माई लाई ऑन ए कर्व और विच माइट बी ए सर्फेस दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आर द मोस्ट फ्लेक्सीबल एज दे कैन फिट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डेटा सेट बाई एज्यूमिंग डिफरेंट स्क्यूनेस कर्टोसिस कॉम्बिनेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अंडर दिस कैटेगरी आर जी एंड एच एंड जी बी टू followed by distribution where skewness kurtosis lies on a curve distribution under this category are weibull gamma log normal etc and the least flexible are the distribution where skewness kurtosis combination is a constant and these type of distribution can only fit those data set where skewness kurtosis of data set is very close to skewness kurtosis of these distribution so distribution under this category would be normal and exponential we also looked at two definition of how do we define whether a distribution is fat tailed or thin tailed now this is important because in case of operational risk we are more concerned about the tail so it is the tail which ultimately decides the operational risk bar and we look we looked at a rank ordering of different distribution on a scale of increasing tail heaviness thank you